Hello, I'm Sam Neill, all the way from New Zealand, welcoming you to The Graham Norton Show. Time to meet our virtual guest tonight. He's the star of Jurassic Park, uh, Peaky Blinders, and Hunt for the Wilder People. It's Sam Neill, everybody! Hey! Hello, Sam Neill. How lovely to see you, Graham Norton. Uh, well, I like the look of your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely devoted to alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be, you'd be very welcome here and very very much at home, I would think. <laughs> so th this is your vineyard, is it? Yes, it is. That's a lovely <laughs> morning. It's about nine o'clock. And uh, do you want to see outside? Oh, yes. So this is, this is New Zealand. Oh, very wow. Sunny, sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had strangers kissing or something, just, yeah. to, just to really show off. <laughs> it's sunny and we don't have COVID. <laughs> I feel slightly, slightly weird talking about it to you because I know, you know, the UK is such in, in, in such dire straits um, that we have three cases in the community and the whole country is is <laughs> very nervous. So it seems it seems odd by comparison, doesn't it? But we we are we are a little bit on edge at the moment. And this uh, place presumably looks familiar to you, Jimmy. It looks very familiar to you. Hi, Sam. Um, Hello, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. No, I spent. Um... I met Sam when I was over doing The Hobbit, and then I, I, I was lucky enough to spend some time with Sam down in the vineyard, down in the South Island. It's beautiful. But I spent a day with Sam uh, uh, on the farm. We, we, we spent the, the morning shoveling shit. Um, we are actors. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then, uh, but then we, uh, we actually had a bit of a wine-tasting uh, uh, competition in there, I think. Do you have any yeah, recollection? Um, <laughs> I, I do. Um, first of all, um, we wallowed in compost. That's an Irish thing that we have in common. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then smelling sweetly, we we then um, had a taste off, and he won. It was really, it was really irritating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, Samuel, Tom Jones, you've met. Yes. Do you remember where? I do. Yes, at so the Greek Theatre. It was at a Sting concert. Oh, wow. And Sam was but was backstage, and I asked him what he was doing. You know, what what, what are you up to? And he said, well, I'm doing this movie about there's these dinosaurs in it. <laughs> and, but you don't actually see them. He said, I'm, I'm acting, I'm looking up and doing this, that and the other. But they're, they're going to be put in later on. So I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen with <laughs> Jurassic Park. I tell you. We know, we know what yeah. happened to that, yeah. I, I, I was delighted to meet Tom. And I found myself in, in a circle where there was, there was Tom Jones, the great Tom Jones, Herbie Hancock, the immaculate Herbie Hancock, <laughs> Sting and myself. And I thought, this is a super group. <laughs> this has got to be a super group, but I'd be the sort of joke drummer, you know, but uh, <laughs> it's always the drummer. <laughs> I met a few of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Sam Neill, you've got a movie to tell us about. This is Rams. It stars yourself and the Australian actor uh, Michael Caton. And this is, is very close to your heart, I think, this film. So uh, tell us about it. It's a lovely film. Yeah, it was being on release in Australia and New Zealand. And I'm getting such wonderful feedback from it. People say, you know, I feel so much better having, having seen this film. So it's gratifying to get that, um, uh, uh, to get that feedback. But it, it has its genesis on a beautiful, in a beautiful Icelandic film, which was actually rather grim. Our film is very different. Uh, it's about two brothers who haven't spoken for 40 years and, um, and who love sheep. There's a small romance in it um, with... Um, Miranda Richardson, who's an old friend of mine. But it's mostly about sheep and men and community. And it's rather touching and lovely and, and um, a little sad, but also very sort of heartwarming. It's a lovely film. It is, because it is that thing where the tone of it shifts. Like, you, you know, sometimes it's really tragic and then it can be very funny and whimsical and quirky. It's, it's a really special thing. Yeah, and um, and for lovers of sheep, there's 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 no better film, I think. You know, <laughs> <laughs> at Rams, it's available on all digital platforms from next Friday, and we've got a clip, Sam. Uh, this is you settling in with your new housemate. Oh. <laughs> and how hard is that? To you can't train sheep, can you? You can to an extent, but um, a sheep is a, <laughs> an animal of, of a limited capacity for... Um, you don't see sheep in circuses, for instance. <laughs> well, and presumably you liked spending time with them because you, famously, you have a lot of livestock, don't you? 
Yes, I have goats and sheep and and cattle and a lot of chickens. You know, these terrible battery farms, which I thoroughly disapprove of. Um, one was going bust the other day, and there were a lot of chickens looking for homes. I already have about 24 chickens, so now I'm up to 36, I think, at last count. It's, it's at least 36. So there's a gang of them out there. And they all think I'm wonderful. So it's <laughs> it's it's like having... It's like having Tom Jones fans, actually. <laughs> there you go. Uh, on the Biddy Piper, you too have joined the world of chicken donors. Yeah, we have we have chickens. We have two chickens. Just the two. Just the two. Um, what are they called? Uh, one's changed its name a few times. Bright Bomber, and then it was Bob, and and then the notorious chicken, um, Cockerel. Both Cockerels, Wanted Layers, got Cockerels. It's like potluck. Um, his name is Heavy Metal. Wait a minute. Those, so these are the two Cockerels? This is one Cockerel in different poses. OK. And this is a competitive <laughs> bird. You can enter them for competitions. They have amazing <laughs> I don't think that's what happens. I think... <laughs> But it's actually... I don't think that's a competition anyone wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it looks fantastic. It does. But it's awful. Oh. It's a horrible, aggressive um, cockerel. Um, it's become a... Re he's become a real problem. And loud. Very loud, but sort of swoops down at you, chases you around the garden, puts his wing out and sort of circles you. Um, and now it's doing this. Um, so, uh, and apparently I said, I said to this guy down the road, like, what am I going to do about this? And he's like, you've just got to show him who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so gorgeous. How could you possibly discipline... A, this a, is, I think a, he's a, very a, frustrated a, because a, I think he wanted this competition life. Um, and he said he, he got well, asked in what lockdown. He, what he <laughs> might like is a head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a vet, but uh, that might cheer him up. <laughs> I can't risk taking any more risks. <laughs> <laughs> and, Sam Neill, you've talked about your animals on the show before, and I hesitate to ask, am I still alive, Sam? <laughs> you're not only alive, you're, you're the number one bull now. I think we've got there. That, that's with me. That's me. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> that's going to work. Now, it's less good news, I believe, for James Nesbitt. Uh, well, Jimmy Nesbitt. Jimmy served us well, but uh, he got old and very arthritic. Oh, no! And, uh, yes. Has he not made it? Is he no longer with us? He's no longer with us. He had to be put down. He was in, he was in quite a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. And um, we gave him an honourable um, uh, burial down at the end of the farm. Um, a huge grave for me is the size of the house. <laughs> wow. It'll take one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. You dug a hole for that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Don't they explode? What? What? Isn't that a thing? I, I, don't, don't, I, don't, don't. Uh, wild, wild. Our animal expert Andy uh, asks a question. <laughs> Do, <laughs> does livestock explode after it's expired? <laughs> <laughs> Is that urban myth? <laughs> a rural myth? It's a very urban myth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Jimmy, I made Jimmy, it up. Jimmy in his prime. <laughs> Jimmy Nasbitt in his prime was something to behold, though, Sam. Is that all right? Yeah, it's a fantastic. Fantastic ball. <laughs> and I couldn't have <laughs> conscious. Um, but with a distinguished name like um, Jimmy, Jimmy, I couldn't really turn him into sausages. So he's, he's a grave and a little marker on him. So uh, oh, uh, oh, R.I.P. Dear old Jimmy. Uh, have you got a Tom Jones yet? <laughs> Surely Tom Jones is, is ripe for the farm. <laughs> and I'm Welsh. Tom, you know, you like? God. I've got a couple of new rams who are, who are unnamed, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Well, hello. Okay. All right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, very quickly, Sam, uh, Andy, I know you're a big fan of Jurassic Park. Definitely. All the, oh, Jurassic me too. Park. Yeah. Me too. Everyone yeah. loves oh, it. Everyone loves hey, hey. Because uh, the new one, is the new one finished? Do we know when that's going to uh, see the light of day? Yeah, well, it was supposed to be um, May of this year, but it's, it's been put back for a year, so it's May of 22, yeah. And, um, gosh, time's gone so weird this, these last few months, hasn't it? Um, yeah, May of 22, and um, we shot it all at Pinewood, so I spent most of last year in England, and uh, it's going to be huge. 
So hopefully there's still some cinemas open and, um, and people <laughs> come on and get back to the movies. Uh, well, hopefully you can come and tell us about it uh, in, in May 2022. That'd be great. Um, to see th you again. Uh, thank you very much for getting us up so early in uh, lovely New Zealand and talking to us. Rams is available on all digital platforms next Friday. Sam Neill, everybody! Bye, Sam. Bye-bye, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs>